Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. The Nazca Lines are one of the world's most famous ancient enigmas, a collection of giant geoglyphs that are located in the Peruvian coastal plain around 250 miles south of Lima, Peru. They were created between 500 BC and 500 AD and made by people making depressions or shallow incisions in the desert floor, removing pebbles and leaving differently coloured dirt exposed. In November 2019, a research group at Yamagata University announced the discovery of 143 new geoglyphs, and in December 2022, they announced 168 more. And this is all with the help of new AI technology. The designs include various animals, animals eating humans, people in different poses, and some strange mythical humanoid figures. Each geoglyph is unique, and we also see long straight lines running across the landscape, even over hills and into valleys. They first became known to the wider world in the 1500s, when Pedro Cesar de Leon described them as trail markers in his 1553 book, La Cronica del Peru. In 1596, Louis Monzon reported seeing the remains of roads in the Peruvian desert. Many of the lines were only visible from nearby hills, but in the early 20th century, when military and civilian planes began to fly over Nazca, the full extent of the geoglyphs were finally visible. But it's that visibility from the sky that led to wild speculation in the 1960s, that they were created by ancient astronauts, extraterrestrials, and the famous book by Eric von Daniken, Chariots of the Gods, brought a huge amount of attention to the Nazca Line phenomena. But you only have to watch one episode of Ancient Aliens to know that such ideas are more fantasy than fact. Ancient astronaut theorists say yes. Yet it still raises the question of why such geoglyphs were created. Yes, we do understand how, but the why has led to many decades of debate and speculation. Some have said they were ceremonial walkways and that they had religious symbolism. Others have said they're an astronomical calendar, and yes, some people do actually believe they were landing pads for UFOs. Masato Sakai, a researcher from Yamagata University, one of the people who has been working to find the new geoglyphs has had his say. He said, I'm interested in letters. Everyone uses alphabets. But in Andean civilization, they didn't have that way of communicating. So I wanted to discover how they did communicate. The researcher is now convinced that the Nazca lines were used as a means of prehistoric navigation and communication. For example, linear Nazca lines exist at the beginning and end of straight paths and can be used to help people travel from one valley to another. Whilst many pictorial geoglyphs exist on hillsides, communicating a message to people passing by or assessing the landscape from hilltops. Of course, we can best see the Nazca lines from the sky, but we shouldn't forget we can also see them from the tops of hills, and some of them can also be seen at ground level. So maybe they were communication and navigation devices after all. Markers in the landscape to tell people where they're going, what's in a certain direction, the natural dangers they may encounter, who lives here, and so on. It's a hypothesis in its infancy, and, at present, there is no detailed information available, and no specific study has been released. But I am particularly interested, because to me it does make sense and it does sound credible. The researchers from Yamagata University have been studying the Nazca lines and making new discoveries for two decades, so they're certainly well placed to spot patterns and make connections. But we also shouldn't forget there was more than one culture behind the Nazca lines, the earlier Paracas and the later Nazca. 
was the explanation by Sakai could explain the earlier Paracas geoglyphs, which are mainly on hillsides and seen from ground level inside valleys and from hilltops. The later and more famous Nazca lines are often on lower lying land and are therefore much harder to see. So maybe the purpose of Nazca lines evolved over time, becoming messages to the gods, a way to communicate to the heavens for rainwater, fertile land and so on. If correct, earlier Nazca lines were therefore for human to human contact, for communication and navigation, and later versions could have a more ritual or spiritual interpretation, being contact between humans and their gods. To end this video, I'll show you a selection of new geoglyph discoveries by Yamagata University since 2019, played to the music of Adrian von Ziegler. Thank you for watching and enjoy. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.